The Porsche 997.1 C4S is an interesting 911 because it takes the naturally aspirated 3.8 liter engine from the Carrera S and combines it with the all-wheel drive system that was later used in the ridiculously potent 997.1 Turbo. It also sports the Turbo's wide rear fenders, giving it a distinctive and more aggressive look than the narrow-body Carrera and Carrera S. Nowadays, a clean C4S will run you somewhere in the range of 45 to 60 grand. That's about 10 grand more than the equivalent Carrera S, and almost 15 grand more than a base Carrera. Now, I happen to own a lightly modified 2005 base Carrera, so what I'd like to know is, how does the all-wheel drive system affect the 911 handling characteristic of the 997, and does a 3.8 liter engine really make that big a difference over the 3.6? Is the extra 15 grand really worth it? So the 3.8 liter in this car makes 355 horsepower and 295 foot-pounds of torque. So that's about 30 horsepower and 22 foot-pounds up on the base 3.6 Carrera. And if you do the math, the specific output is actually higher for the larger engine. It makes its peak power at a slightly lower RPM, although it has the same 7300 RPM redline. And while I'm sure the all-wheel drive system comes in handy in wet or snowy conditions, it's not without its drawbacks, obviously. My base rear-wheel drive Carrera with a 3.6 weighs right around 3,100 pounds, whereas this Carrera 4S with all-wheel drive and the bigger motor weighs in at over 3,200 pounds, so at least a 100 pound weight difference. Now for a daily drivable sports car, that's actually not that big a deal. Now the owner, Kevin, has put a few bolt-on mods on the car. So it's got an Evo MS tune, Evo MS intake, fab speed headers and a tubey exhaust so the sound is a little bit more aggressive than stock but i'll say from inside the cabin it's a very very quiet car this engine makes a very different sound than the 3.6 he also has bilstein coilovers but these coilovers are designed to work with the factory PASM or PASM. All Carrera S and 4S models come standard with this button here. And what that does, right away with that button enabled, this car is too stiff for this back road. So I'm going to throw it back into the softer setting. With that PASM button on, the car becomes really, really firm. Kevin also put a tech art body kit on the car. It's very nice and subtle, gives it an OEM plus look. The color of the car is Atlas Gray, which I think is beautiful. I much prefer this color to the seal gray on my car. He also installed the GT3 shifter, which he mentioned has more solidly built bushings, but the throws are the same as stock. And he also installed what appears to be a 991 steering wheel. None of the buttons work, but it does give it a much more modern feel compared to the base 997.1 steering wheel. All right, let's see how this all-wheel drive system feels. Very curious about that. Definitely pulls harder than my car, that's for sure. Carrera S has bigger brakes than the Carrera, and I feel that absolutely in the braking sections. Plenty of torque in third gear. Let's see how this all-wheel drive system feels like in the hairpins. Wow, yeah, that's the biggest difference between this car and mine. Coming out of corners, I can get on the power so much earlier and so much harder. And the nice thing is the all-wheel drive system doesn't seem to corrupt the steering feel of this car a whole lot. And so power on understeer is something I have experienced recently in my 911. I'm trying to send all that power to the rear wheels in a rear weight biased car, it means the front end actually gets pretty light. And I don't seem to get that in this car. Or at least it takes some of the cons associated with the rear engine layout and it partially negates it because now the front tires are also playing a part in getting the car hooked up coming out of corners which makes a big difference that said i'm not sure i prefer the 3.8 liter engine i think the 3.6 has a charm to it because even though it makes less power it's still a revier engine and it has a more zingy top end and it doesn't have quite such a coarse sound low in the rev range. It's a minor complaint though, and if you're cross-shopping between a Carrera and a Carrera S or 4S, 
don't let the sound really bother you that much because at the end of the day, these are both amazing sounding, naturally aspirated flat six engines. These Bilstein coilovers that work with the PASM, they also feel really good. Honestly, it feels pretty stock to me. The firmer setting, like I said before, maybe it feels good on track, but in all street conditions, I would say there's really no point pressing that button. It kind of ruins the ride quality. The GT3 shifter is a nice addition. It definitely makes those shifts a little bit more crisp and less sloppy compared to the stock setup. Very quick car. We're just gonna lean on it in third gear, make use of that 3.8 liters extra torque. Yeah, that's the right call. No need to be in second. Amazing brake feel, really impressed with the brakes. Love this hydraulic steering rack of the 997. Honestly, I'm starting to feel that the C4S is the sweet spot in the 997.1. You know what I'd love to try now actually is a Carrera 4. So combining that 3.6 liter engine, which I prefer just because you can ring it out a little bit more, it makes a slightly ni nicer, higher pitch sound, and combining it with the all-wheel drive system. Man, now I'm starting to wonder if I should have gotten a Carrera 4. In short, the 997 C4S is a fantastic road car. It perfectly balances power and handling with timeless styling and a musical flat six soundtrack. It has better steering feel than modern 911s, and thanks to its all-wheel drive system, more traction than you can really exploit on a public road. The thing is, the cheaper rear-wheel drive Carreras are just as enjoyable in their own right. In the $30,000 to $60,000 range, you really can't go wrong with any 997. Just remember, if you go with a pre-2009 car, check for signs of bore scoring and IMS failure before you sign your life away.